And so well, you, you're okay. disciplining the kids. I don't care what kind of sport it is. Yeah, and you know the other the other thing that people miss out on is that a lot of those same people also played a significant amount of soccer, which you know not only helped their fitness but also their footwork and their ability to move spontaneously. So, do you think that that you know, cross training in that in that way, or like playing basketball or something like that, can be a great cross training tool for your tennis? Well. I, I don't I don't necessarily believe in playing different sports and say, okay, let's play different sports. You know, if you want to get in a better condition, then why do you have to play soccer to get in better condition? Get in better condition. I think, you know, it's, it's stupid to say, okay, I want my kid to play soccer so he can learn to run. Why don't you take the kid out in the field and say, hey, kid, run? I mean, you know, you just, we don't have to play another sport. Why do you have to play basketball? To do what? Get to do what? You know, it's not gonna just do whatever you have to do. I think that's where I think that's where it has changed. In the seventies, you know, we never the kids never did any you had no private trainers, you had no you know, people just ran. Sabres never went and, and went to had a conditioning coach and everything. He just ran his ass off. I mean, I had a tape when he was like ten years old and he's running so fast and I think that's where tennis has changed. If you get a kid nowadays that doesn't want to move, doesn't want to run, tell him to go swimming. He's not ever going to be. He's never going to be a tennis player. And that's what changed from the seventies. In the seventies, you could have players that were not athletic, like a Chris Evans, completely non-athletic. Chris Evans was non-athletic, which was mentally so tough. Huh? Same with Tracy. Tracy maybe was a little bit more of an athlete running wise than Chris Evans was. They hit the ball a little bit harder. It was mentally a giant. Tracy Austin was a mental giant. She was mm-hmm. like uh, a cellist, a mental giant. And in those days, she could be not that great of an athlete and still. It's a little bit like that still because if they can hit the ball hard, like what is that chick, that Kavita or whatever her name is, Kavita. I mean, she is a bitch and hell on the ball, but this girl is not a great athlete. And Davenport was not a great athlete, but she hit the ball so hard, so accurate, so deep, trolled it. She controlled the point. But I think as a whole, I think the, 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 the conditioning is a huge part. You get a guy like the Djokovic, this guy can run day and night. You get a, like, a guy like, uh, I love him, uh, Wasniacki, runs the marathon in great shape. I mean, I think so. That part has sort of, has sort of changed from the 70s, definitely, you know. Right. Okay. So now let's take Tracy Austin as a as a kind of case study because she's one of the players who, because of you know early retirement with her sciatica problems, um, mm-hmm. you know a, a, after a period of time when we saw you know very good players retire early because of injuries, right? Now the uh-huh. the WTA has instituted the um, you know the maximum amount of tournaments that you can play in a year and and all that stuff. So what do you think about the maximum number of hours that kids should be on court? Uh, because, you know, running around on asphalt's not necessarily the best thing for kids developmentally. Uh, you know, uh, you, you, uh, you're touching an area that's just like, uh, you know, like how much, you know, in I, I agree that in the in the seventies we didn't know not much about uh, injuries like uh, what's your name uh, you did any you did no conditioning Tracy you know no conditioning at all and so I was there when she actually uh, pulled a sciatica it was in uh, it was in Florida I didn't know much about sciaticas you know so it uh, it screwed up her career. Uh, you, you don't you don't have it as much these days. You still have a lot of injuries. I mean, you know, you still have it. Maria had a shoulder injury. A lot of people are still are get injured even now. A lot of them get injured now. Now, but the Tracy has sort of screwed up her career because didn't know how to handle the uh, sciatica problem. You know, how much do you play? I think too much is not good anyway. Everything is in moderation. She should play six hours a day. I don't think so. It's not necessary, you know. In my eyes, it's not necessary. 
But um, what's her name? Maria they never played that much, by the way. You know, it's really interesting how some people have to play a lot and some people don't play a lot. Maria didn't play a lot of tournaments. But when she played a tournament, she was she could win. She she was mentally really tough. Other people played a lot of tournaments. Uh, Pete played a lot of tournaments. Southern California tournaments are so available that they, they play a lot of tournaments. And so, but, but too much is not good. It's not a good, but they have to be in condition. You've got to give them, you've got, they have to be able to run, they have to be in shape. And I think that sort of has changed. But Tracy Austin, she was just, Tracy Austin was almost, almost her own problem because she was mentally so tough that she would never give up on anything. See, some mm-hmm. people, are, they let go. When the ball is a little too far, they let go. She would never let the ball go. She would always try for everything. And so that's how she injured herself, you know. You get a guy like Sampras. Sampras was, and the Sampras was so sort of like, what's his face, Federer. It's actually interesting because they don't practice hard. You know, they practice hard when they were young. At least Sampras. I don't know anything about Federer. But Sampras played practice very hard when he was young. When he got into the pros, he was actually a lazy kind of practice partner. <laughs> Guys didn't like to practice. Curry of practice with Sampras for Davis Cup. He hated it because Sampras wouldn't try, wouldn't work for the shot, wouldn't do anything. And maybe that's why he got his longevity in this game because the same with Fred, same with Feather. Feather runs down every ball, but he's not intense, you know. And some people are really too intense when they practice. Not uh, not relaxed enough, and I and I think that's uh, that is sort of a problem. You gotta you gotta be able to be relaxed. You cannot overdo it. And some people, you know, they send kids to an academy where the kids play six eight hours a day, or whatever. I think it's stupid. You know, 